A woman in pain is searching for answers tonight after a hit and run in North Glen left her with severe injuries. Police still have no suspects. They need your help trying to find that driver responsible. CBS4 investigator Katie Weiss live at the North Glen Police Headquarters. Katie, really amazing this woman was even able to survive this. Absolutely, Jim. She's got a long road to recovery. She's had three surgeries to repair all of her broken bones. She can barely walk or even eat. And tonight, she really just wants to know who did this. I went to walk across 112th, and next thing you know, I was hit and in the hospital. Around 7.20 p.m. on November 19th, 35-year-old Don Proctor was crossing this intersection at 112th and Washington in North for three weeks and can't work. They said that this part of my job wasn't connected anymore, so they had to go in here and reconnect it and screw it in. It's been very difficult. I don't know why it happened to me. and I don't feel normal. I can't do a lot of things that I was able to do. And when I can't do them, I get discouraged. She says she can't remember exactly what happened, nor did she get a good look at who hit her. Like, I don't even know where I was in the road. Ann says police haven't reached out with any new leads. We haven't heard anything from them since then about anything. If they found anything, if they had any leads, or I would like to know, because I can't remember. <laughs> She's hoping someone can help her find answers. I don't know how you can do this to someone and just leave them for dead. In the meantime, she's trying to stay positive. I'm going to rise above and I will get better and I will be stronger than I was before. But just, you know, <laughs> I would like to know who hit me. Now, police say there are motion sensors at that intersection, but unfortunately, no traffic cameras. So if you saw something that night or you know who might have done this, do the right thing and call North Glen police tonight. Reporting live in North Glen, I'm Katie Weiss covering Colorado First. Now, Katie Dunn has been